It's a great big beautiful day and I hope you're having one too. We are at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and today we're gonna bring you a tour of a Savannah View room, but not only that, we have club level, the Kilimanjaro Club. We're gonna show you that too. Make sure you click on that subscribe button and ring that bell to get updates on any Walt Disney World content. So we are all checked in. Now we're actually getting escorted up to the club level. Club level here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge is on the sixth floor. It is restricted access, so they have to make sure your magic bands or your key cards uh, will be good to go for that. So we are here early enough for breakfast. Breakfast is served in the club level from 7 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Let's take a look at what we have. We've got chocolate chip muffins and some croissants. Apple danishes, guava fans, which are really good, blueberry muffins, a whole bunch of fresh fruit, we have blueberries, cantaloupe, honeydew, pineapple, strawberries, grapes, got some plain Greek yogurt, which looks like they were going to be refilling. We've got honey with granola for the yogurt, cheddar, We've got smoked salmon and hard boiled eggs. Best stuff of all, we got the warm goods, such as the endless bowl of bacon, some ketchup, and then we've got a bacon and Swiss cobody over here. We've got an espresso machine, makes some all types of different fancy coffees. They actually open earlier for coffee in the morning. I believe they said 6 a.m. or 6.30. You got premium filtered water. If you want to fill up a reusable cup, bring it to the park. Ah, then your jungle juice, otherwise known as your pog juice which is your pineapple, orange, and guava juice. Amazing stuff. Also gives mimosas, and then orange juice, of course. Here's the condiments. Your whole selection of Twinings teas. Decaf coffee, regular coffee brewing. A little fridge here, what do we have inside? Ah, uh, yes, endless supply of strawberry bars and Mickey Premium bars. Kids will love that, and the adults too, of course. Then you have a cooler filled with Greek yogurt. You have milk from fat free in a hole. And then sodas, Coke, Diet Coke, Fanta, Sprite, and Minute Maid Orange, or apple juice, Minute Maid apple juice. We also have a selection of cereals, Fruit Loops, looks like Corn Flakes and Raisin Bran. We have some apples and bananas there. We have bagels, looks like there's some raisin bagels in there with some white toast, and a toaster to toast it. And then over here, we've got cream cheese, butter, and then different toppings for hot oatmeal. And apparently they have hot sticky buns, which again is out, but hopefully they'll refill that soon. So we are here celebrating Christy's birthday this weekend. So because of that, we got some birthday treats. Christy's got herself a Rice Krispie Treat Mickey popsicle stick. <laughs> and of course, Wonderful thing about club level, endless pog mimosas, and they even put a strawberry on top. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna try some of this jungle juice. Pog mimosa. See how this tastes. Good on the sparkling pour and a great touch of the pog. Very, very good. Alright, so I grabbed some bacon and babodi to get my protein in for the day. Let's try this, see how it is. Let's try this babodi. It's very good. Um, a little on the cooler side, it's not very warm. So it looks like it might have been sitting out there for a while, but it tastes like basically a crustless quiche, essentially, would be a good way to put it. Very enjoyable. Okay, now it's time to get some of this bacon. It looks really crispy, actually. Let's try this bacon. Mm. If you like bacon, you're gonna love it here. It's nice and crisp. I like my crispy bacon. Very, very good. In fact, they actually have a good mix of crispy and non-crispy bacon, so if you wanna have your pick, kind of a bit of a fattier piece here, I'm gonna grab and try. I got the last one of this too. 
that's also really good. Very, very good. Christy got one of the sticky buds that they finally refilled. All right, Christy's going to give okay. this a try. It's so good. It's definitely a sticky bun. Is it soft? So it's soft and warm and gooey. And definitely have like that caramel texture. But the nuts on top, like, plays perfectly. <laughs> there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The birthday girl gave her review on the sticky buns. I know we've seen some of the food, but let's take a look at the view. See what you guys think. We're on the sixth floor of the Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge at the Kilimanjaro Club. You have this amazing balcony looking out to the main lobby. Look at that. And then out those doors is gonna be a Savannah view, which we'll check out in another video when we do our resort tour. This sixth floor is actually, the rooms up here are booked by Disney Vacation Club members, so they're all villas. So they're gonna be deluxe studios, and then I believe one or two bedroom villas, I believe is what they have up here. They might have three bedroom villas as well. That's what we have here at Jumbo House. The fourth floor is where all the other guests stay that go club level, and they have all Savannah View rooms for their stay. When our room is ready, we'll go ahead and take a look at that here in just a second. So not all the rooms on the fourth floor are club level, just certain rooms. If you are staying in a non-DVC room, Savannah View Club will be on the fourth floor. We're staying in room 4321, so we're gonna go inside. Okay. It's a beautiful room. This room has a connecting door to it. We're starting out with the closet. It's right here on the right hand side. You've got a couple of nice robes. These are not to keep, of course, but they're nice to use. Also, they have slippers at the bottom. On the other side, you've got extra pillows and blankets, hair dryer, safe, and then you can hang clothing in the bottom. Next to that, you've got your standard glasses, cups, actually ceramic, so that Real there, you had a Curie coffee maker. In the drawer, you've got your different options for coffee. So it looks like your standard Joffrey setup with Keurig cups and takeaway cups. We don't actually have to do that much because we're staying club level, but if you do want to bring some stuff down from the club level, we have a nice cooler here. It's just a cooler, not a freezer fridge combination. Check out that artwork. Come in, it's gonna have your name, Nice music in the background. Here in the counter area, they have USB plugs, as well as your standard US standard outlets. Got a nice dresser there with your dressers. You also got your table mirror. And the Savannah view is right outside, which we'll take out and look at in a minute. And then of course, You've got your two queen beds, again with outlets on both sides, your standard phone and remote, your Gideon's Bible. Love the animal theming here in Animal Kingdom Lodge. All right, now to the bathroom. It's got a sliding door. So you got a nice little sliding door. Cool little floor runner there for your feet, double vanity. Hey, look at that, Hakuna Matata, one of my favorite Disney movies, Lion King. You got vanity mirror. Hello, everybody. All right, beautiful setup. No waste of your Disney amenities, your H2O products, your lotions, mouthwash. It looks like you have a vanity kit and shower cap. And then check out this bathroom. Got some hooks. It's a see-through tub shower combination with a nice shower head it looks like a rainforest shower and then i love the new design of the h2o products here the dark blue your shampoo sea marine shampoo conditioner sea marine and your sea salt body wash so far i hope you guys like the room tour if you've ever stayed in one of these rooms let us know in the comments see tell us what you think about it but now we're gonna take a look outside at our view. Now it just got done raining, so there's not a whole lot of animals out here, but 
from what I remember, animals are out here 22 hours of the day. They might just be hiding under some trees. We'll get some footage of them a little bit later. We do have some birds out there in the distance. You can see them, but this is a beautiful savanna. This is the Arusha savanna that we have here at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Now, if you look out there, you'll see there's a little lookout area. That's actually something that any resort guest can go out regardless of where you stay or if you're visiting the hotel. And you can check and look at that. Our room does fit four plus an infant. And while I'm talking about that, there are some keepers out there, it looks like. They might be looking at the animals. The room is 344 square feet. So you might be asking then, how much did we pay for this room? So the room for this weekend, which is Father's Day weekend, again for Christie's birthday, is $850 per night approximately. Um, during the low seasons, you're looking at about $750 per night, and then in the holiday season, about $1,350 per night, which, again, that's with club-level access, so you're paying a premium to get that access. Of course, with special discounts throughout the year, that price can go down. Now, if you're looking at a regular Savannah View room, those price out about $150 less per night on all aspects. So the Savannah View room, regular non-club-level room for these nights that we're staying, uh, runs at about $600 per night and then again, um, I'm sorry, $700 per night when the low season about $600 per night and then $1,000 per night on the high season. So really that $150 extra per night is really going to determine what do you think? Is it worth it or not? Well, if you follow the video here, just keep watching. We'll show you more of what the club level has to offer for snacks for dinner and see if it's worth it. Plus, uh, we'll do a resort tour a little bit later that uh, will be in the next video. You can determine, is this really worth it? I will tell you, this is not our first time staying club level at this location. We know it's worth it. I think you would think so too. So we are back on the sixth floor at the Kilimanjaro Club at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge, and it is snack time. They start that at 11.30 a.m. I'm sorry, yeah, 11.30 a.m. And I think they go till two or three, or maybe till four, I'm not sure. I'd have to double check. but. Let's see what they have there on the lounge offerings. So they do sometimes rotate stuff out. So that what you see now, we'll get stuff from each of the different days. They've got yogurt covered pretzels, goldfish, African spice nuts, banana chips, chocolate covered raisins. And so they have some peanut butter and jelly uncrustables. Chocolate chip cookies. We've got some crudite over here. Cucumbers, carrots, well, baby carrots, celery. We've got plain hummus. Citrus marinated olives with sweet drop peppers. Sweetie drops peppers, I guess you could say. Sambal ranch. We've got some Miss Vicky's kettle chips, sea salt, and sea salt and vinegar. And then you've got some sun chips. Originals and then Stacy's pita chips. Christy's getting some water. By the way, check out our little uh, refillable cup that we have there. We actually got that from Amazon. It is uh, a Lion King cup there from, um, don't remember the name of the company. I'll put a link in the comments, but uh, it keeps things very, very cold for 24 hours, if not longer, with ice in it. And, anyways, uh, we have our usual tea offerings, coffee, sodas. Of course, our ice cream is still there. They switched out the pog juice and now have regular lemonade and then sweet and iced tea. By the way, in that same area, they have a big TV here for you to sit down and watch Disney movies such as Alice in Wonderland. It's now playing. Over here in the hot area, we have soup. What kind of soup is this? Does it say? It doesn't say what kind of soup it is? We're going to find out what that is. Also over in this area is a little kitty TV for kitty area. And it uh, looks like that uh, if the weather was good because it's satellite, there would be usually Disney Junior on there. But Christy did say that it looks like it's a potato bacon, so we're gonna go ahead and try that out. So I admit I was expecting just kind of cold items here for the snack time period, wasn't expecting anything hot. So we're gonna find out, Christy's gonna try this soup it looks like a potato bacon let's see how it is it's definitely a potato bacon soup it's got like corn and carrots and stuff there's some sort of spice in it it's like spicy sausage or something in it but it's definitely something like on a rainy day i definitely needed so it's really cute there we go look at that it's really good let's get it you can see it's very kind of it's got nice chunks in it 
it looks really good. It's spicy. <laughs> All right, I just went up to get some stuff myself. Let's see what we've got here. I picked up some of the chocolate covered raisins, some of those olives, banana chips, yogurt covered pretzels, the Uncrustables, and then some cucumbers with Sagadol Ranch. So we're gonna try this out. So banana chips are pretty usual. So let's try out one of these olives. Let's see how this turns out. All right, we're gonna try out this olive. Just a normal olive with a nice brine to it. If you like your olives, you'll like it for sure. So we're gonna try now this cucumber with Sogdal Ranch, see how that goes. Usually I'm picky about my ranch, so we'll see how this tastes. Usually a Hidden Valley fan. I can dig this ranch, it's really good. Cheers. Those are great snacks, but now it is time to try some of that soup that Christy had just moments ago. Yeah, it looks almost like a curry. Some chicken. Oh, it looks really good. Let's, let's give this a try. It is really good. Like Chris said, it's got corn. It's like a chowder. I think it's more like a chowder. It's got like corn in it, like she said. Um, it looks like carrots, but it's definitely, it definitely looks like a chicken base as well. But yeah, it, it almost tastes like a curry. Very good. Not expected for lunch, um, for snack time, but. Uh, Totally worth it. All right, so we made it back to the room. Just had our snacks there at the club level. It was wonderful. The weather has lightened up a little bit. It's sunny out. We might actually see some animals now. Let's take a look at our balcony. Ooh, look at that. Take a look at that out from our balcony. You can see, Let me zoom in a little bit. The wildebeests are out. <laughs> and of course, they're birds. Pretty common. They are typically giraffes and zebras out here, but they're again, we're not out right now, but hopefully we'll get some footage for you while we're staying here. They usually come out in the evening. Like Christy said, in case you didn't hear that, they usually come out in the evening time and early morning. One time we stayed here and it was raining out and we watched the zebras play. Really, really cool. It was nice. Since that weather has cleared up a little bit, we're thinking it is time to hit the pool. They have an awesome water slide. You know what? We're just gonna show you. We're gonna cut to that right now. All right, take a look at that. The pool looks pretty busy since it's been closed most of the day. Not sure if we're gonna find a seat, but that's okay. So on a busier day like today, when it's rained most of the day, a lot of people are out trying to go swimming. We end up having to get seats on the outside of the pool area as I will show you here in just a second. But that's okay. We still got a seat and we like it. We're actually over here by some flamingos. And then the pool's right over here. So we're not too far, even though we are outside of the gated area. But we did find some seats right over there. So we are gonna go ahead and switch to the GoPro, get in that water, see how it is, and we'll see you here in just a second. All right, we made it to the pool. Water slide up over there. Really, really cool looking pool. Lifeguards on duty, of course. Beautiful thing about Walt Disney World Resorts. And you've got your little bar area over here. Let's get in. What is up, guys? Anthony here. And today, right now, we are going to go on the water slide that is in the pool of the Animal Kingdom Lodge. So, yeah, let's check it out. From here, you get great views of the pool. And right over here is the slide. It's a very short one, but super fun for the little ones. So we are right here and we are about to get on. It's not, it's not too bad. It's a little bit of water jetting out. And then you have your red and green lights to tell you when to go. And yeah, let's try it out. Here we go! But it is it will be really fun for the little ones you have 
and overall, it's a pretty great slide. We're actually going to go over to Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas, Kidani Village, which is actually just a short bus ride over um, to the next resort, sister resort, to the Jumbo House. Go ahead and check out that resort. We're actually going to look to check out their splash pad area and their pool. Beautiful thing about this resort, there's a bus and shuttle that takes you back and forth between those two. So it's really just a shared resort. You get to do the dining there at Sana'a if you wanted to and things like that. But we're going to take a look at that now. So unlike Jumbo House where the pool is located on the back end of the resort, the Kidani Village one is located kind of on the side offset a little bit. You can see our location where Kidani Village is. We are here. The pool is going to be right there. So this is the Samawadi Trading Company Splash Area. Interactive splash area for the kiddos. To the left here we have some a playground to keep them dry. But once you get in this area, you've got water trickling all over the place. Really cool concept. I like. It doesn't have a big dump bucket it looks like, like some splash areas do. But Got some leaky barrels. Actually, there's some miniature dump buckets over here. I'm not sure if they actually dump or not. A little fountain. Pretty cool. Love the theming here. For those of you who know the Jungle Book animated movie, they look like representations of Ka, the boa constrictor, and then Lorelai and Anthony over there in the corner playing with some ping pong. Pulled over in the back. We'll check that look at that maybe later. But yeah. Really, really cool. We are here at the pool at Kidani Village. We're gonna get in. We're playing the cha-cha slide right now. It looks like a lot of fun. I admit, I like this pool better already. This place also has two slides. There's actually one right here. It's a small little slide for the little ones. And the bigger slide is right over there. We might go down a little bit later. We're gonna take you down the slide now. Pool time is over for us today. It looks like the weather is once again not on our side. We're going to head back over to the Jumbo House, get changed, maybe head up to back to the club level, see what they have for the evening appetizers, and go from there. So we're back in the room now, and we're in the savannah, and check out the animals that are literally right here. Very, very cool. There's actually another bird down there. And apparently there's a zebra in the back somewhere. Christy says it's walking a trail. Can't see it right now, but we will get it later. There's some more down that way as well. He's coming. Oh, apparently he's coming. Oh, I see it now. Mm -hmm. It's grazing on the grass. Mm -hmm. So we made it back to the Club Level Lounge. We're going to see what they have for their dinner. Entrees, um, really just hors d'oeuvres, but we're gonna take that, take a look at that here right now. All right, so we've got good some assortment here. Sorted of artisan breads and crackers, seasonal compotes, manchego, basically a charcuterie selection, salami. Looks like you got some rice chips over there as well. Then your crudite, vegetables, asparagus, mustard, salad ranch, boma mustard. More hummus options this time. Sun dried tomato hummus, coriander hummus, Colorado olive hummus, Berber chickpea salad, citrus marinated olives with sweetie dried peppers, drop of sweetie drops peppers, sorry. Tamarind barbecue meatballs, which are almost halt. Sliced watermelon, peanut butter and jelly, fresh coffee selections. Got your wines now out here. Your selection of beers. We have a Michelob Ultra, Blue Moon, Angry Orchard. I know they have other stuff in the back, like IPAs. Check out this cool little can opener. Looks like a zebra. Pretty cool. And over here, you've got. Hello, how are we doing? Well, thank you. We got South African sambal chicken corn chowder, which looks like what we had earlier. West African jollof rice. Looks really, really good. 
So I did find out that the hors d'oeuvre selections they have here in the evening actually come from the three different sit-down restaurants at Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge and Disney's Animal Kingdom Village, uh, Kidani Village. You've got Boma, Jiko, and Sanaa. Um, basically, uh, each location has service here twice a week. We get something from that restaurant, and then on the seventh day, they kind of shoot from the hip, basically. So I don't remember the exact day schedule, but we're here for three nights, so we'll be able to see different dinner options each night, and we'll bring that to you, so you can look and see what to enjoy. So I got some of the salami, the manchego cheese, the rye chips, the meatball, which Anthony already says is amazing, and some of the olives, which we good earlier. Then we got the chickpeas. I got some of that rice as well, and some of that soup, which looks like what we had earlier. Let's go ahead and try the rye chip here. Apparently, these are freshly made rye chips. If you like rye chips from Chex Mix, you'll like this. These actually taste fresh. They're not as salty, but they're very, very good. Really, really good. All right, next up, we're gonna try a piece of this meatball. It's a tamarind meatball. It looks really good. I think it's just gonna taste really good too. Mm. Words can't express how good that is. Okay, they can. It's like, a, again, we ever had tamarind before, it's kind of a sweet, savory type of sauce. Uh, based on like a, it's like a, a fruit in some countries. Well, it is a fruit, but popular in some countries. And this is really good. If you like barbecue meatballs? Definitely really good try. Now the charcuterie items here, like the cheese and the salami, are pretty traditional, which you would expect. But I'm gonna try some of these chickpeas. They're citrus marinated, so let's give this a try. See how this tastes. The citrus definitely stands out. I'm a fan of hummus. I like chickpeas. It's got a very zesty taste to it. Not spicy, but definitely citrusy. Like lemon or lime or a mixture of both. Really, really good. Now we're going to try the rice. Okay, let's see this rice. This rice looks really, really good. It looks like there's hints of saffron in it. I believe it's best part of the name anyway. Let's try this. I like the, I like the garnish there with the lime and the cucumber. See how this tastes. There's bits of corn in it. Um, I can taste cilantro. Very, very good. So far, very, very happy with the options here uh, for their hors d'oeuvres. They call them hors d'oeuvres, but really you can get as much as you want. So you can actually make a meal out of it. Um, we typically do. I mean, you're saving meals. Uh, you know, saving on your cost for meals. And again, like I mentioned earlier, $150 difference between the regular Savannah View Room and club level. For a party of four, that's basically what you would spend on dining in a whole day. All you can eat includes alcohol, all you can drink throughout the whole day. Breakfast was good, you saw that earlier. The snacks were a lot better than I expected. And just this, this dinner option, amazing. Um, really, really good. Definitely should give it a try. We'll have some more for you a little bit later with desserts later on around 8 o'clock. But so far, definitely worth it in my opinion. That's why we stay here. We love it. So Anthony here has something he picked off from our little selection there. What have we got here, Anthony? So this is called the Barely Buzz Cheese. So it is um, a unique espresso and lavender rubbed cheese with um, hints of butterscotch and caramel. And Anthony likes his coffee, so let's see how this how this tastes. Go ahead and give it a try. Uh, it's an interesting taste. What, is there anything it reminds you of in particular? Any other cheeses? None that I can, none that I can think of actually. So it's unique. It's a bit, yeah. It's a very unique. It's a very unique taste. It. You can taste the espresso. Like a, I only had a little bit of the espresso on there, and you can actually, you can actually um taste the espresso quite a bit. Okay. Very cool. Looks like that might be something I'm gonna have to try here. We'll see. We'll see if I'm that adventurous. I like cheese. Okay. So here's what Anthony had earlier. 
barely buzzed. You eat espresso, espresso and lavender, hand rubbed cheese, with subtle notes of butterscotch and caramel. We're gonna give that one a try now. So I went ahead and got some of the cheese. I also got a refill of the chowder and the meatballs because they were just so good. Let's give this a try. All right. Look at that. I mean, you, this one you can't really see. This espresso, this one you can. That looks like the espresso rub right there, but let's just see how this tastes. It's a very mild cheese. You don't really taste the espresso because I think it's just the rub, but I can have the hint of lavender in there. It reminds me of like a very mild Swiss. But it's really, really good. Very good. <laughs> Highly recommended. All right, so I want to just give you guys a little bit of an update on something we found out about the offerings here tonight that we had um, at the Kilimanjaro Club. So I did ask our lovely cast member Francisco about its origins. We found out that the chowder that we had, the chicken corn chowder, actually came from Sanaa, which again is at Disney's Animal Kingdom Villas, Kidani Village, and then the rice that we had and the beef balls came from Boma which is the buffet they have here for breakfast, character breakfast. Actually, no, I don't think it's a character breakfast, but anyway, they have for breakfast and for dinner. Of course, that would be for dinner for the meatballs and the rice. So uh, you do get samples of the great restaurants here at the resorts. Wonderful food, highly recommended. The next couple of days, we're gonna get food from Jico and probably from Sanaa itself. We will uh, keep you posted and go from there. All right, Lorelai. Oh, man. Where do I start with the whipped cream? <laughs> okay, let's get all of this. A raspberry, a little bit of chocolate, and whipped cream. So for those of you watching this, a little bit of a quick story. Our wonderful man Francisco here asked Lorelai if she wanted a dessert. Of course, she got permission to do it. He took a Mickey bar and made mm. a sundae out of it. Look at that. Whipped cream, strawberry topping, Raspberry. Raspberry topping. And I don't think words need to explain how she's enjoying this right now. But folks, this is the level of service you get here at club level, at the Kilimanjaro Club. Really not just there, but all, not just here, but everywhere. We've had clubs level, um, we've enjoyed it. We're actually doing another trip in about a month to the Contemporary, having club level there. You know, take you guys with us, hope you guys enjoy. But if you want that Disney quality service that you know to come and expect, Club Level just just adds that extra pixie dust. So this is definitely a pixie dust moment. Really, really cool. Let us know in the comments what you think. And yeah, let's see what we have going on next. Okay, we've made it back to our room. And now, ooh, there's more animals out on our savanna. Let's take a look. Christy and Anthony are both out here already. But we got a zebra right here. Look at that. Right, two of them. Mm -hmm. And then some wildebeest. And the giraffes are out too. Look at that. They were just up here. Oh. You missed it. They're grazing. Look at that. Isn't that awesome, guys? Now that's the reason to get a savanna view route. Right there. Oh, they're coming closer. And literally hundreds of feet away from these animals is so cool. Really cool to see those animals out there. But now we're going to do something else that's really cool. Again, uh, a lot of the Disney resorts do this, is roast some marshmallows out by the fire. We're going to head down now and take a look at that. We're going to head over where the kids are at, where they give you some sticks and free marshmallows. So that way you can cook marshmallows. You can also buy s'mores kits for a pretty nominal cost. But uh, Lorelai is enjoying her partly burnt marshmallow as well as Anthony. Yummy, guys. Oh, man, look at that. Best way Very nice. Best way to have it. Nice and char. All right. So I wasn't able to get a marshmallow myself because they're actually just about to close off. Um, they're actually uh, do this from 6.30 to 7.30. It just hit 7.30. The kids and Christy and Wyatt were able to get their marshmallows in. But that's something that I believe they do every day, as long as the weather is good. Come out here, have some marshmallows, courtesy of Disney. Really cool little thing to do here. Although the marshmallow toasting is over, these animals don't have a time limit. Take a look at how close they are right here. 
grazing on the grass in the savanna. So cool. Definitely our favorite part of the whole experience. Wildebeest. Wildebeesting away. So here's a list of some of the animals we have here in the savanna. We have the water buck. Of course, we have the zebra. And then the rowan antelope. There's usually many more different types of animals out here, of course, like the giraffes. But just take a look to see how close they are. You can't really get much closer than that unless you're actually in a savanna or a safari. Hello. Hi. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Hello, what's your name, Prince? I'm Wyatt. What's your name? Wyatt. Wyatt. Wow, mm -hmm. ah, that's a nice name. Wyatt, you see, I'm holding something in my hand. You know what this is? An egg. An egg, yes, give me a high five. Which egg is this? Ostrich egg. how did you know that? Because I heard it. You heard it? <laughs> yes, so this is an ostrich egg. Everyone, have you seen this? This is an ostrich egg. Our friend has told it. Uh, has told us that is an ostrich egg. Is there anyone who knows about ostriches? It's the biggest bird, and they don't they don't fly. They only like stay on land. And they take hard. That's very correct. Uh huh. They're the fastest bird. Fastest birds on the coast. How fast do they run? Fifty miles. So close. Anyway, sometimes they can even reach up to 50 miles per hour, but an average of 45 miles per hour. 45 miles You are so close. Oh my god, I love that. Yes, this is an ostrich egg. Aha, uh -huh. some more questions. Can I ask you guys more questions? Yes. How many chicken eggs do you guys think can make one ostrich egg? One. If you are to break. Four, four, four. Four? Uh, five. Five? Sixteen hundred. Sixteen <laughs> hundred? Do you know how many chicken eggs can make one ostrich egg? Uh, how many? Oh, oh, yeah. Four. Five. Five? Or about okay, ten. Ten or twenty. Ten or twenty. Twenty. Twenty is so close. Twenty-two. So close. Twenty-two. 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 These eggs are very very hard. In Africa, in Africa, a lot of families eat these eggs. Yeah, and uh, the government has given licenses to many countries, people in the countries, to keep these ostriches to rear them home, basically to eat the eggs. Some people sell them to raise money for the homes. One single egg of an ostrich is more than fifty dollars. Oh. Wow. Very expensive. Is it a heavy egg? It looks like you're carrying it lightly. Because uh, it's pop. Well, uh, it's, uh, the egg if it has the yolk inside, it is about 3 pounds. 30? 3 pounds. Three pounds. Um, zero, three. zero 3 pounds. How often do ostriches lay eggs? Very Once. good question. Once. Once. Ostriches, ostriches lay eggs mostly during rain season. In rain season, they can even lay eggs every day. In rain season. But dry spells or dry seasons, they rarely lay eggs. They may take like three weeks or even four weeks without laying any single egg in dry periods. That was a very good question. Do you know how long it takes for the ostrich eggs to hatch? A long, long time. More than a year? year? How many days? It takes only days. Six. Five days? Five Ten? Days? <coughs> oh, seven days? Hundred five? Four. Okay. Definitely more than that. <laughs> uh, uh, days. Okay, chicken take twenty one days to hatch. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many days? Forty. Think Forty. Fifty. Four days. So close. Forty five. Yes! <laughs> 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 it takes 45 days for this egg to hatch. Another question is, which bird is the closest relative to ostriches? Flamingo. Flamingo? Flamingo. But what, what, what? What is it? The closest relative among the birds Not to the ostrich. The I feel like I want to say penguin. It starts with an N. It starts with an N. It starts with an E. It has three letters. 
Emo? Emo! Oh, that's what I said. I thought I was one of those yeah, other birds. I thought those were other birds. I thought those were other birds because they started to be, and then they, they like look like the same as the uh, Okay, mm -hmm. emus, emus with ostriches are like uh, giraffe and okapi. Have you guys seen okapis? Yes. Yeah. They're like zebras, giraffes, and... They are the relative to giraffe. So when you see giraffe and okapi, they are the same family. So the same thing with emu and ostrich. Oh, that's so cool. Where can you find emus? In the wild? What is that, what is that native country? Africa? Australia. In Africa, in Africa it's only the ostrich. We don't have emus there. How come the ostrich are here? Sorry? How come the ostrich are in Florida? Okay, this ostrich, this, most of these animals that you see here, giraffes, they're African animals. So they were born from here. Some of them were born from the Animal Kingdom Park. So they were brought here. So most of these animals from Africa were brought. They are not original found in Florida. Yes, please. How long did they live? How long did they live? The ostriches? Yeah. Ostriches can live up to... Oh, wait, let me just check it. About like a thousand? No, ostriches can live up to um, 11 years. So ostriches, the lifespan of ostriches is 11 years. So that was really cool, the uh, cultural ambassador there. Uh, giving us some educational facts about ostriches, kids getting to hold out, the, getting to hold the ostrich eggs. Just uh, again, another reason to come to Disney's Animal Kingdom Resort, Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge. Great place to go. But we're gonna head inside now. I think we're gonna go head up for some desserts here soon because it's starting to rain a little bit. We're gonna get to you there right now. All right, so we're back here up at the Kilimanjaro Club, ready for desserts. Let's see what there's on the dessert tables. All right, let's take a look. Oh, look at that vanilla cone. Really cool. Lemon rose cone. Looks like ice cream, but it's not. Passion fruit tart. I've had these before. They're really good. Two trays of them. <laughs> Berry tarts as well. And then chocolate chip cookies. And oatmeal cookies. Of course, you're gonna have your usual other coffee condiments and such. But also, those beverage drinkers, they also have cordials. They're after dinner drinks. Kaluuya, Cavassier, no. Cognac, Amarula, and Grand Marnier. So, we're gonna try some out, see how we like some of these desserts. All right, so we got passion fruit tart, berry tart, and the oatmeal raisin cookie. Let's try this berry tart first. Very good. It's actually not overly sweet. It's more like a custard on the inside, but very, very good. If you like berries, it's it's not too strong on the berries. It's more like a, it's like a, almost like a raspberry puree. Very very good. Next up, this is passion fruit tart. I love passion fruit, so I think this is going to be really really good. Take a look at that. Mm. Definitely has that meringue t consistency. I love the tart. It actually is very crumbly. You might need a fork to eat it. It's really really good. And just speaking of passion fruit, I know we mentioned pog mimosas. Again, you have to ask them for pog mimosas because they don't advertise it. Um, they only have the pog juice out in the morning, but our kids, they love the pog juice so much. If you ask the servers, they'll bring you pog juice pretty much all day long. They've, our kids have had it every meal today. They love it. Pog juice is amazing. Passion fruit. Or, no, it's actually pineapple, orange, and guava, but sometimes I think it's passion fruit. Whatever. It's still good either way. If you've never had it, you need to try it. If you have had it, you know how good it is. It's amazing and wonderful. No. Lastly, we're going to do this oatmeal raisin cookie, like a standard oatmeal raisin Sorry. cookie. Pretty, pretty good here. But let's give that a try. I was like, okay, I put ice on it. She's finally able to get back in the pool just to make it. She's perfectly fine. She's still freaking playing. Very chewy, like it should be. A plus. Love it. We're going to enjoy the rest of the desserts. 
and then maybe recap the evening or we recap the day actually because we're almost there and almost at the end of the day another extra magical moment from our man francisco he's going to get total kudos on this i have no idea what this drink is neither does he he just makes stuff up according to what i hear but this looks really really good complimentary of the kilimanjaro club a pleasure miss oh, mm -hmm. all right christy you can give this a try Tell me what this is. Saturday. Saturday. It was amazing. The best ever, right? That's so yummy. <laughs> what does it taste like? Okay, so like Prosecco. And some sort of fruit juice. Like maybe peach. So like a peach bellini. S sort of, but then it's like cream. So it's like creamy too, at the same time like a cream soda. Ooh. So it's like really hard to explain, <laughs> but right. it's so good. I might have to give this a try, if she's wanting to share. <laughs> All right, let's try this. Let's try this, how this is. Okay, we gotta try this. Cheers. Definitely pina colada mix. That's what's at the bottom. I don't know what that is, but that is one of the best drinks <laughs> I've so ever good. had. And this comes with part of the cost to stay here. I would not expect this. We saw someone else get something similar. This is why we asked for it. And uh, we're here for another three nights or two nights. So we're going to taste this layer. This oh, layer okay. is different. It's, different. Layer. Oh, it's a layer. So okay, different. it's a layer. So she's giving me another layer. Let's try it now. So different. Ooh, that's a whoa. <laughs> that's the wine layer. That's the prosecco layer. That's. That looks like... All right, let's get another look at this. Is it good? Yes, and I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, there's, there's, there's the bottom tastes like pina colada. So then, and then the middle tastes like prosecco. And there's like a creamy texture in there, and I can't figure that out. So fast. Surprise. It's a delightful surprise. <laughs> I Thank love you. it though. Thank you. <laughs> the thing is, you need to have something out of the ordinary oh. yes. to make this the best time ever. I appreciate it. couple of minutes have to be the best. Oh, of yes. Best, of the best. Of the best. Thank you you so only much. live once, right? Yeah. That's right. If you don't like it, I give you a refund. <laughs> if you like it, I keep refilling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Francisco. <laughs> oh, that is so good. That's so good. Yeah, it's like. You can tell the layer, the pina colada mix is there, and I think it's like the prosecco on top, and I think the cream is from the whipped cream probably. I don't know. It just feels like there's more, it's, it seems creamy inside. Yeah. Oh, that looks so good. So. All right, friends, we are going to finish our wonderful drink we have here, and then we're gonna call it the evening. But thank you guys for joining us. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, click on that subscribe button, ring that bell, that way you get more updates because we have more to come. In our next video, we are going to hit up the Magic Kingdom with some early hours because we're staying at a resort and we get in 30 minutes early. We're thinking Seven Dwarves Mine Train and Tron, but you just have to check out the next video to see how that goes. Until then, it's been a great, big, beautiful day. I hope you had one too, and we'll see you real soon.